number of reasons. One, because we could. There's enough dirt here to actually dig a swale. So that was number one. Number two, it was a great opportunity to look at the existing trees, to not really have to take many trees out, but to get into a somewhat forested system already with shade. Right? We don't want all shade, but we want shade. This is Texas. It was going to be, I promise you, 114 degrees this year again. Right? And a few weeks ago, it was 14 degrees. That's 100 degrees difference over a few months. Um, this shade helps with evaporation. So that's a big part of why we chose it. These oak trees have gotten into this rock. And you can see over here, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you can see over here, that's hard. But see how there's, it's turning orange? There's some of it. I probably broke most of it. You could break. You could, you know, basically. No, it's not quite that broke down yet, but it breaks up easy. You get a piece of solid white like that one right there. No breaking it. That ain't the one with the excavator marks on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, it's even got a little in it. Yeah. The ones with the excavator marks. So everywhere those oak trees have started to do this, that's actually limestone on its way to being clay is what that is. All right. So <coughs> Go because clay. we had all of these trees in here already starting to break this rock down, it made it a place that made sense to do this. Where if we tried it over that field over there, we're dealing with slab white. It's much harder. And no work's been done for us yet. The other reason we picked this particular location is if you look at that roof and all that hard catchment gets here and ends up in a swell. So we basically came as close to the corner of the building as we could and still leaves our, leave ourselves a pathway through there without having to go down in a swell that's all full of water. And that let us just simply take, we said, well, let's go that way as far as we can. The plan was to go almost to the fence. And as we got out that way, there's a formation here. This is, this is all ocean bed. If you've looked at it, it's all seashells. So it was a reef formation that pinched up like this. So as we went that way, we went from being a foot of depth to 10 inches to 4 inches really, really fast. So we called it. We just said, okay, we're not going to be able to go as far as we wanted. We did the last little bit of it. It's off contour, so it's really a diversion crank. So it kicks the water in, pushes up, backfills. And it'll backfill all the way up that diversion drain before it goes out that sill over there. So the only reason this, this swell was here was that corner. But when, once we looked at it, it was also the longest contour line we could effectively work. So this became our first swell. Not that we dug, but in the design. We looked at that and said, okay, the longest swell we can put in on the property, where is it? It's here. Once we got that done, we looked at this building and went, well, I bet water comes off of that side of the building, too. So we came up here and decided we could pick the water up. Now, right now, a lot of this water is ended up in that mid-swell. That's why that mid-swell filled up faster than this one did yesterday. Once there's a water tank there and all that water's going into that tank and the tank overflows, we're going to overflow it into that swell. So by that point, we're going to split the water. Half into that swale, half into this swale. Now everything from the porch that hits there ends up in this little system here, the urban system. That last swale right there, instead of putting a sill in it like we did with all the other ones, we put an end sill. So this one, we put a hook around it so the water wouldn't come down through here, pushes the water into that swale. So we're taking everything from that, from about where little chickens are this way except as you go back behind the building, it falls off into these swales. So that's why we did it this way. So we didn't come out here and go, well, I want it to be shaped this way.
way and I wanted to be shaped that way. These were just the contours in the land. That's all, all it was. Once we found the longest one, we just came up great right and took another one. We thought about going up there, like where that tent is, and putting one more in, but it would create access problems. So we want to be able to get vehicles into back there. And we pretty much now roped ourselves out of that. We get a four wheeler in here or a tractor. You're not getting a vehicle in this one. We wanted some way to get vehicles back there. Noisy bitches. <laughs> so then, once we got those two, and we knew we couldn't go up anymore, where do you go next? Go down. So, 